year 2048, the war between the humans and the paper dolls rages on. But human forces have begun to zero in on a specific target, a target that they have been hunting for quite some time. We destroyed thousands of them. The area lies in ruins. We are in pursuit of the wooden creature. We have set up a parameter to contain the wooden creature. Status report, mission successful, Colonel Baranski. The wooden creature has been captured. I repeat, the wooden creature has been captured. Isn't the great Woody the wood pulp boy? I suppose you're my arch enemy, the leader uh, of the pitiful forces that would dare oppose me, that would dare attempt to throw over humanity. Eh, this is my world, this is my dominion. I am the invincible, everlasting king pedestrian. Hmm. And you, my dear Woody, are now a prisoner of King Pedestrian. Bow, grovel, kneel. You will worship me. It's not like you can do much else being all chained up. Not so powerful and menacing are you now, Woody. You would dare to oppose me, to threaten my reign, to threaten my rule. This is my world. Just a piece of wood, <laughs> a subhuman piece of wood, a half-breed. But I will promise you this. We will torture you to extract information about your battle plans, your schemes, everything you have planned to try to overthrow my rule. Do you realize how many thousands of your little paper dolls I've destroyed with the firebombing of these cities throughout the world. <laughs> and your little consort, Flashy. When we capture her, you will watch me incinerate her. I personally am going to torture her right before your very eyes, Woody. 
your little rampage back in 2016 when you destroyed the city of Murgatroyd. I've been wanting to destroy you ever since then. You cost me a bundle then. I had to rebuild Murgatroyd, channel funds into the then Senator Devane's campaign. (laughs) That ungrateful ingrate. I elevated him to Prince of North America. (laughs) 30 years make a big difference now, don't they? Uh, He's still an ungrateful ingrate. (laughs) You, my little subhuman being, are a product of Judy Vincini's DNA. I know I must admit she was once a friend of mine, a she disappeared 30-some years ago. Uh, rumor has it she was a vampire and traveled to some alternate universe, some parallel universe that coexists with our own. <laughs> At least it's what Dr. Derrickson and some of my intelligence sources inform me. But... What can I say? After all, you have the DNA of apron head. <laughs> no wonder you're such a, a violent, aggressive creature, a subhuman daring to take on humanity. Oh, it's going to be fun, Woody. I'm going to slowly torture you before I send you through a wood chipper. Or burn you. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to destroy you. I'm not going to destroy you right away because I will take pleasure in torturing and tormenting you. You've been a thorn in my side for 30 years now. But your days of threatening my dominion are about to be over, Woody. (laughs) Bow, kneel, grovel. To King Pedestrian, your Lord and Master. My dear Woody, I must confess, I had no idea what a pleasure it would be to have you here before me at my mercy. And speaking of confessions, it has a long history in my family. One of my ancestors, way back in 1532, a certain bishop pedestrian, was associated with the Inquisition. (laughs) As you can see, I have all the implements of torture here that could prove very useful against wooden creatures and paper dolls. I'm sure your, your little whore, Flashy the paper doll, has told you about that insane clown 30 years ago who chased her around with a staple gun, a pair of scissors, <laughs> a lighter. Yes, all of those are very effective tools of torture against your kind. And I do intend to exterminate your kind. You see, Woody, had you and Flashy not propagated and produced over and over, and then your offspring produced more offspring, your little race of half-breed subhumans wouldn't be overrunning the world now, threatening humanity. So yes, you shall feel the pain of that staple guide, and you will feel the pain of the axe, and you will feel the pain of a lighter, you will feel the pain of fire. 
Yes, every piece that I take off of you as I talk to you, you will be incinerated. Of course, you'll grow a new part, which is why I'll have to ultimately destroy you. Eventually, you will be killed. But I intend to gain all the information I can from you before I dispose of you, my dear Woody. <laughs> Frightening future in the year 2049, a fierce war rages between humans and paper dolls. The human side is under the leadership of world dictator King Pedestrian III and the paper doll side has been under the direction of Woody the Wood Pulp Boy. Yet Woody has been captured by human forces and now finds himself chained to a torture table as a prisoner of the evil King Pedestrian. But the king has been called away briefly and during his absence Woody has been left alone, and he fights against the chains which bind him hoping to free himself and well, escape from well, the evil well. king. So the great king pedestrian has been called away briefly. And so he has left me here unattended, chained to this torture table. I can do this. I can do this. When I become enraged I have enormous strength, as I demonstrated when I destroyed Murgatroyd decades ago. I can break these chains. I can break these chains. Got to concentrate all of my might into breaking these chains. I have to break these chains and get out of here.